హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు క్లాస్మేట్ అకాడమీ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఉమా మహేశ్వర్ సో టుడే వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అ సింపుల్ ట్రిక్ ఇన్ సర్కిల్స్ బట్ విచ్ విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ ఎ లాట్ ఇన్ ద ఎగ్జామ్ టు ఆన్సర్ ద క్వశ్చన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ బట్ ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు హ్యావ్ సమ్ కంటెంట్ సో దాట్స్ వాట్ వీఆర్ గోన్ అ లర్న్ హియర్ సో వెన్ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఆల్సో యూ కెన్ జస్ట్ ఇంప్రూవ్ దిస్ ట్రిక్స్ బై యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఓకే యూ కెన్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద ట్రిక్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ అప్లై ఇట్ ఫర్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ నో సీ హియర్ we know the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r this is the circumference of a circle or else you can call it as a perimeter of a circle or circumference of a circle area of a circle is pi r square this is area of a circle both consist pi in it and we know pi value we use it as 22 by 7 if i want to cancel this 7 in most of the cases they'll give you radius as 7 so you take it as 7 if if at all if radius is 7 7 7 you cancel it it is 44 take pi as 22 by 7 radius is 7 and 7 22 7s 154 so here our trick starts when radius is 7 we know that the circumference is 44 and area is 154 these are the standard values in a circle so if radius is 7 then what is the value of 2 pi r and what is the value of pi r square the value of 2 pi r is 44 the value of pi r square is 100 54 these are the base values you double the radius if suppose if the radius is 14 if radius is 14 then what happens to 2 pi r okay 2 pi r it's only one dimension r you are using it once so obviously if radius double circumference also doubles so circumference becomes 88 when it comes to area you are using r twice so you can see r into r so therefore if radius doubles area becomes four times so 4 into 154 616 616 when radius triples as it is you can take the circumference triples so you can say 44 into 3 132 154 it becomes nine times the nine times of it it 1386 Now how to remember this value even if you remember 1 3 that is enough if you remember 13 so 13 it is divisible by 9 right so 3 plus 1 plus 8 3 plus 6 so you can remember 1386 because it is divisible by 9 1386 1 plus 8 is 9 3 plus 6 is also 9 like that you can remember if it is triple do half then circumference becomes half that becomes 22 then area becomes one fourth one fourth of it it is 77 into 2 so you can do by 2 by 2 again so 77 and 77 by 2 so you can take it as 77 by 2 or else you can take it as 38.5 if suppose you want 10.5 triple it if radius is 21 by 2 or else if you want the radius to be 10.5 then triple this 66 then do 9 times of it 3 4 3 plus 6 is 9 4 plus 5 is 9 like this you can remember this trick 346.5 so 3 4 346.5 now see out of all this these are your five values that you must remember okay these are the five values that you must remember suppose if i ask you any one of it suppose if i am giving you 22 as my circumference immediately you need to go for the base value the base values are what 7 44 154 if 44 became half so radius is 3.5 and area is 38.5 so out of this five pages if i give you any one of the, any one value suppose if i say the circumference is 88 you should be able to say that the radius is 14 and you should be able to say that the area is double of <coughs> four times of it it is 616 if suppose 
area is 1386 you should be able to say that the radius is 21 if the area is 346.5 without wasting any time you can say that the radius is how much 10.5 if the radius is 3.5 you should say area is how much 38.5 apart from this you should know their multiples also multiples means see here 38.5 there is the relation between 38.5 77 154 double of it 308 so this all these things you have to practice okay 616 into 9 is how much 13 86 so this is one set of values that you must remember now we'll go for volume we know volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube pi is 22 by 7 r is if suppose r is 7 then what is the value cancel it 3 remains as it is this becomes 88 into 49 by 3 these are all the values you are not going to do it in the exam okay we are practicing it here you must remember them now 88 into 50 440 so 88 into 50 4400 minus 88 you do it 4312 if you can remember this 4312 okay it's well and good so if r is equals to 7 then volume of the sphere is going to be 4312 divided by 3 it is like 1 2 3 4 all the numbers covered you can remember like that but the volume is 4 3 1 2 divided by 3 so divided by 3 which is equals to you know it is 14 and 1 1 7 means 37 so 14 37 1 by 3 or 0.333 you can say so this value you must remember that it is 14 37.333 okay now I want to eliminate this three means the best suitable radius for this is twenty one. I want you to remember it for twenty one as well. Four by three, twenty two by seven into twenty one into twenty one into twenty one. Twenty one twenty one cancelled. Eighty eight into four forty one. Into eight you do it first. Eight. Then four eight four <coughs> eight four the thirty two, then three eight four the thirty two then thirty five. Add the same thing again, three five two eight. Now we know this eight 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 three. Okay, eight sorry eight zero eight eight three eight eight zero eight. Whenever okay, whenever the moment you see. Three double eight zero eight. Three double eight zero eight. What is the meaning of it? It is the volume of the sphere whose radius is twenty one. If radius is seven, what is the volume of the sphere? You can say four three one two by three, or else you can say fourteen thirty seven one by three, or else fourteen thirty seven point three three. This thing you must remember. Okay. now based on this we'll try to do some problems okay which are very difficult actually if you try with the values it will be very very difficult but if you try with this tricks it will be very easy just see look at the first problem it says the length of the side of a cube is 5.6 cm then what is the volume of the largest sphere that can be taken out of the cube okay so he is asking you the volume of the sphere and volume of the largest sphere you are cutting a sphere from a cube if it is 5.6 then the radius is 2.8 forget about the point radius is 28 we learned about 7 what do you know about 7 when radius is 7 when radius is 7 your volume is 1437.3 when radius is 14 you double it okay this becomes 8 times this is the volume right so volume becomes 8 times into 8 if i do it see 8 into 0.3 this you know that it is 1 by 3 into 8 is 2.6 you keep it aside 
then after you can add it okay 8 7 the 56 5 24 plus 5 29 32 plus this one 4 then 11 so plus 2.3 you can add it 2.6 you can add it 11 498.66 you can just take the closest round figure that is 11500 if suppose if the radius is 14 but radius is not 14 here you know that the radius is how much radius is 28 double of it again do into 8 if you can remember this value it's well and good r is equals to 14 then the volume of the sphere is 11500 suppose into 8 if i do it it will be very easy because we know <coughs> 8800 plus 400 that is 9200 zeros are there anyway 92000 because i skipped one zero okay if i divide it by it here i have taken out point point means by 10 you take by 1000 so it is very close to what 92 so our answer is very close to 92 so our answer is 91.98 so our answer is 91.98 so within seconds you can do this if you know that it is 11500 into 8 you do it so 1437 okay into 8 is 11500 into 8 is 92000 look at the next one the curved surface area of the sphere the moment you know that the curved surface area curved surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square we know 4 pi r square is 154 means obviously what is <coughs> pi r square is 38.5 as i said r value will be 7 by 2 he is asking you the volume volume becomes what 7 is becoming 7 by 2 volume becomes what volume by 8 what do you know about the volume we know that it is 1437 divided by 8 you do it 8 ones are 8 sevens are 8 nines are 179 point something see without finding anything you are directly going for 179 just by remembering the value okay these are the questions which are asked in 2022 cgl volume of the sphere is 38 808 if you remember 38808 i know that the radius is how much 21 it's very very important to figure out the radius is 21 now he's asking you what is the surface area of the sphere we know that surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square this one is 1386 again when you know the radius area you should not find out you should not substitute anything directly you should know that it is 1386 into 4 you do it it will be what double five double four it will be simply double five double four now we'll see the last question if the diameter of the sphere is 3.5 if the diameter of the sphere is 3.5 then what is the total surface area of the sphere you know diameter of the sphere is 3.5 then the radius is what 7 by 2 by 2 7 by 4 then the total surface area of the sphere 4 pi r square now you can say this r becomes 2 r square it is 7 by 2 it becomes we know when radius is 7 by 2 what is the area of a circle area of a circle is 38.5 so like this without substituting you can do it so without substituting the value you can substitute it but all you need to remember is when radius is 7 what is the circumference what is the area okay when radius is 14 what is the uh, what is the circumference what is the area so 21 then same way 3.5 then also the same way 21 by 2 that is 10.5 okay if any of these three is given circumference or area and radius you must say the other two that's all thank you very much